all right good day welcome and hi sorry it's been a while i want to say a very big thank you to everybody who has been watching my video to the new subscribers to those who has been who have been liking commenting sharing and um thank you very very much i really appreciate so today i've been having like a lot of comments hmm, i could do that edito i'll just put them pop up so i'll be like i'll be having like a comp <laughs> you they use your bookshop to play you they use your generation to play i've been having like a lot of comments about how i did my whole process my immigration process and or my relocation process and how i did it and that's what i want to share so first and foremost this is just how i did mine somebody else can tell you the, the way the details is different and you know you can check online and see better answers and but i'll just share mine and that's it so i am a student here i came as a student here in um, winnipeg manitoba and i'm currently studying the university of manitoba and i'm studying although it's like a first year you have to do like a a whole lot of course both science and math and all together so you have to do all of that so technically i use um s1 visa that study visa so i started my whole process in um october okay before this i'd done like a 2021 i process new york because i wanted to go to new york film academy or no i wanted to go to Lehman college in new york first then I'd done the whole process, I'd gone to the interview, or I was denied the interview first. Then I went for New York Film Academy, then I was given a um, visa, but the money was quite bulky, so we just settled for um, Canada. So I checked VFS, that's Vancouver Film School, I checked Toronto Film School, then I checked University of Manitoba, their film school here too, and I, I weighed the prices and I felt like, okay, University of Manitoba Film School is quite cheaper than every other one so i said okay i'll just settle for university of uh, manitoba so that was what i that's what i settled for university of manitoba and i applied so i'm here as the first year so the first year you have to do both science and math courses do everything together then you can now move to your second year then your third year so i applied i started my application in october 2022 yeah october 2022 that was when I applied for um, admission for University of Manitoba, and I was given admission about after a month. Yeah, about after a month. Although I used an agent, I used an agent, and she told me I've gotten the admission. I went to my portal and I said I've gotten the admission. Then I was supposed to start my visa processing then because my admission was to start for January. Now the issue is money to start the old visa application. So my brother, who is like my sponsor said oh we have to chill a bit because he has like so many things he's doing personally and my dad too has so many things he's doing i mean so i didn't have so money so much money on me then so i had to like wait i waited for about three months before i started my um my whole um visa thing so i started december that was when i started my whole visa application so i waited october no october november to december and the ending of december that was when i started my visa so when I started my visa, I called my um, agent. Okay, I want to start the visa because I had to pay my agent for my admission, like um, the processing, like uh, the agent fee. I mean, the agent fee I paid. The application fee was about 150 Canadian dollars. I paid 100,000 for agent fee. Yep, I think so. Then I had to do um, submit some other documents like that. Then when I started my visa processing, that is where the cocoa is. So we started visa processing. Um, I had to obtain proof of funds from my dad. I had to obtain um, proof of um, sponsorship from my dad. Now there's something they call statement of purpose, which is like the most important, one of the most important documents. Because I would say the proof of funds is like the most important. Now statement of purpose is like you're stating your purpose of coming and everything about you, your own reason for coming to Canada. So there I stated that all everything I, I you have to be very very honest, like very very honest. It states what you have done, if you have gone to school before, if you if um if how many children your daddy have, everything about you, if you've done the process before, I have to state everything I've gone to US, I I mean I've processed US, I was denied visa, then I'm doing Canada, this one, that one you have to list everything you're statement and be wise, be like don't go and copy somebody else between the purpose and edit it, they will catch you. 
don't use open ai they will catch you try and just look for something online read it understand it and create yours so that was what i did and i was supposed to pay my agent for statement of purpose but i said no i did it myself the proof of funds i obtained this from my dad i did um what are they calling it um you pay for visa fee to 235 um, 235 canadian dollars so convert it to naira you paid for that then you do then after all that document you submit then now you now go for biometrics i did my biometrics then i was waiting a, for this thing then now you could do what they call upfront medicals after your biometrics so that they will not need to tell you because they will ask message after your they'll tell you go and do your biometrics when you do your biometrics you wait again some can take two months three months four months mine took about i did not wait actually so i went to do upfront medical so they just called me I, I just told my agent okay i want to do the upfront he explained everything to me and he said okay then i called my brother okay i want to do upfront medical he was like well, let's wait because the medical thing is like you are 50 percent sure that you are going that's like the medicals because when they call you for medicals that's like okay go and check your health you can check if everything around about you is okay so we we'll know if we we'll allow you to enter our country that's like the idea of the medicals so when you do upfront they you they don't have to call you again to tell you to go and do they will just send the results to them at ircc so when they send them the results to them at ircc they literally just tell you to do if they approve your visa is go and submit your passport so i did upfront and about i did upfront um medicals around january and i think around middle of february i cannot remember the actual date i'm sorry middle of february i'm very very sure i called got the message okay your visa has been approved you have to go and submit it and this one that was like wow 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 i was so happy that day and i went to submit my visa at um lekki yeah i went to submit my visa at lekki then the visa took about a week before it comes back then i could not resume again for january so I had to come during um, April, April. So I had to wait till April for summer classes. Then I had to, summer classes is starting May. So I came during May. So the whole process thing is, if you don't know well about it, if you can sort out your agent to help you do it, fine. If you can do it yourself, it's also fine. That will minimize at least cost of paying agent for, you know, the oldest this thing. And um, I really did not um, wait for a very long time because i did everything within from october to february that's about five months and if i had done i don't know if i had done it from october and do everything the old visa thing i don't know if they would have granted me visa december and i should just come january but it's all god's plan so whatever thing works for you like i said earlier this is just my own personal decision and basically always start online you could also go to our ccmc um, website ask them questions they ask them um, normal questions and everything you could also call people that are here they should help you you could also ask questions because believe me asking questions will really save you a lot of money time stress and all so you have to ask questions you have to make research about where you're coming to you understand you have to know what and what can i do because now i've seen the news where they said they want to increase the proof of funds something i don't know if it's for student visa i just saw it online i'm not sure so you know when you make research when you see news when you see all this that will make you understand where you are coming to very well so you don't just come somewhere and you don't know anything about the old place so like i said i use a student visa and i'm here studying in university of manitoba fame film studies and you know like my old job is fame so i felt like oh let me learn more let me expand my knowledge in filming so that's why i'm here to study filming so whatever thing works for you like i said earlier please do please do and i used to say something be honest with whatever thing you want to do because like they check everything they literally check everything that's why canada um visa application take very long you have to be prompt with your documents you have to be sure that what you are submitting is the truth what you are saying is the truth what you are giving to them is the truth don't come and be doing fake you know whatever so please be honest, be prompt, and have a good mentality about what you're doing. Have a positive mentality, have a belief. And let me tell you something I fasted and prayed very well for my visa to come out, and it worked. Sorry, I'm preaching, I'm a Christian, but I have to. So I prayed and I fasted, and it came out. So please do whatever it is you want to do. Be honest, be truthful, and I guess I've answered the questions that people have been asking me. Just in case any other question, please just type it in the comment section maybe i'll talk about the video also then i'm supposed to talk about my immigration 
the where okay so after they grant you your study they won't give you your study permit so you have to come down to whatever province you are first landing in canada if you are coming to winnipeg now you can land in montreal or montreal sorry or toronto or ontario whatever you can land anywhere that is where you first do your uh, immigration process so they will also ask you a couple of questions and check your documents over and over again now if they are not truthful they can catch you there and tell you to go back but whatever just be careful that's all i'll say so thank you for watching this video and that's where they will grant you your study permit thank you for watching this video i really appreciate and please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe thank you very much bye bye